Hi, I'm Gideon Akonde, and today I'm gonna to lead you through a cardio-powered strength training workout. We're gonna be focusing on mindful breathing throughout, so make sure you watch to the end for a calming and meditation-inspired cool down. You won't need any equipment today, but I'm wearing my Fitbit Charge 5 to track my heart rate. So if you've got a Fitbit tracker or Fitbit smartwatch, turn it on. Joining me today are Avia and Hans. Avia will be demonstrating some modifications wearing her Fitbit Lux. And watch Hans if you want to try a more advanced version of these moves. Hans is wearing his Fitbit Sense. By wearing my Fitbit Charge 5, I get a daily readiness score in the app with Fitbit Premium. This score uses my activity, sleep, and heart rate variability data to help me understand if I'm ready for exercise or if I should focus on my recovery. Mine is saying I have excellent readiness, so I'm prepared for this high energy workout. No matter where you are in your health and fitness journey, this workout is for you. Take modifications if you need them or go all out if you have that extra energy today. Choose strength as knowing what's best for you and your body and where you're at day by day. Let us know in the comments what positive routines make you feel like you're ready for anything. Let's get warmed up. We're setting our feet up shoulder width apart and we're rolling the shoulders back, taking our time to find that full range of motion, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Opposite direction with the shoulder roll. We are preparing to do something great here, y'all. We have Avia, we have Hans, we have you. It's gonna be a party. Enjoy yourself and relax. Keep those feet shoulder width apart and now hip rotations. Turning from one side to the other, we keep those feet flat on the ground. We awaken the spine, and remember, full, deep breaths. If you feel good, twist a touch farther by lifting that heel and rotating even greater, finding that balance throughout. Looking good, athlete, looking good. Yeah, three, two, one, and shake that on out, nice job. Now bring one knee into your chest, fingertips under your thigh, switch it on up, alternating sides. So there's a little bit of balance involved. That's gonna help awaken the core, but we're also getting the hip flexors, the glutes, and the entire lower half to respond. That's what it's all about. Getting your body to do something it hasn't done before by staying focused in the movement. Couple more. And relax. Shake those legs out. Next up, we're going into our hamstring stretch. Extend your right heel in front of you. Bend your left knee. Reach those hands out nice and long and take them up top. Now switch sides. Extend the heel in front, sit the hips back, reach those hands nice and long. Continue to alternate those sides at your own pace. Feeling good throughout. That lengthening through the back side of our body. Awakening that lower back at the same time. Feels good, doesn't it? How you feeling, Hans? Feeling great. Abia, how about you? I feel like I'm getting a good stretch in. One more on both sides, y'all. Hopefully you are feeling fantastic just as well. And relax, shake those legs out. We're going into our hip opening stretch. So we bring one knee across our body, back to shoulder width, and work the opposite side as well too. Take your time here, more balance involved, but more importantly, we're opening up those hips because we have some lower body action and some cardio challenges that are here to push you. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Couple more on each side, there we go. Finding your range of motion. Remember, we don't push it too far. As long as it feels good and serves us, we move. Relax, relax, relax. All right, find your way to the front of your space. We're going reverse lunge with a lateral lean. Step back with your right leg and reach to your left. Stand on up. Step back with your left leg. Reach to your right and stand back up. Now we're feeling that stretch to the side of our body here. We're also feeling those hips open up. We're testing our balance just a touch and we're moving the entire body as one unit. Let's get one more on both sides. Hopefully things are starting to marinate a little bit. Maybe the sweat is starting to form. You're doing great and relax. All right, side to side with the heel lifts. Be ready to take it to butt kicks if you want that increased heart rate. Here we go. Now we're about to end our warm up. And remember, follow Abia for all of the modifications. And if you wanna step things up a notch, you have Hans over here who will take you there. Recovery in three, two, one, warm up is done. Athlete, congratulations on getting through that part. Now it's time to have some fun. The way it works today is we have three supersets. 
That means two exercises performed back to back. As we work, we'll go through each superset three times through before moving on to the next. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Avia, are you ready? I'm ready. Hans, what about you? Let's go. Athlete, I know you're ready. So we'll be starting with body weight squats. We'll set up our feet shoulder width apart, sit the hips down and back, squeezing the glutes to stand up nice and tall. Let's get going. In three, two, one, rock and roll. Keep your body weight back on those heels and maintain the flat back. Own your form by paying attention to what's going on through every rep. Once you make that mind-body connection, it becomes easier for your body to replicate exactly what you're doing. Now breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and put that smile on your face. You're doing something great for yourself. Now this is the first exercise of our first superset. And how we start the workout will dictate the energy we maintain throughout. So stay strong, you've got this. Keep those knees out. Maintain that flat back for three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Next up, a little cardio for the second half of our first superset. It looks like this. Two seal jacks, one, two, followed by two ace skips. Bringing those hands out wide when the feet are out wide, bringing the knee up to the chest as we jump off of both feet. You get rocking in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, lift and lift. One, two, one, and one. Perfect. Now remember, you can follow Abia, who's giving you that toe tap modification and that march instead of the skip. And of course, Hans and I, we're keeping that heart rate high and testing ourselves with a little coordination and certainly a lot of cardio. Now make no mistake about it, 40 seconds of this action here is a doozy. So feel free to scale back and you can scale back up later when you're so ready. Almost through here. Let's go athlete. Test that self. Push through for three, two, and one. Amazing job. Now catch that breath. How we feeling? Good. A little sweaty in here. Exactly where you're supposed to. Breathe deeply and be prepared for the second round through that first superset. Now Hans and I, we're gonna challenge ourselves with a squat to a hip rotation. Squat and hip rotation. Left leg will be your first rotation, but let's squat first. Let's go. Squat, lift, and across. Squat, lift, and across. Now what's happening here is we're testing that mobility through the hip region, finding out just how much range of motion we have. Some days are better than others, so honor your body. Don't feel like you have to force it. Let it feel good to you. Remember, you're doing something great for yourself and that should be applauded. Some days, you'll feel like you can do more. Test yourself then. Some days, you may need to reserve it. You have that option as well. Let's get five more seconds here, athlete. One more to even it out and relax. All right, you know where we're at. Right back for our second movement, second time through this superset. Both hands together, two on the seal jacks, two on the A skips, and we move and alternate for the 40 seconds. All right, athletes, you ready? I know you're ready, you always are. We start in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, lift and lift. Find your breath here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Because sometimes you have to remind yourself that hey, I'm okay. I'm in control of the situation. And even though it gets tough, it gets challenging, if I allow my body to be controlled by my mind, everything will be just fine. You got this. 10 more seconds, we're almost through here. Way to knock out the second set. In three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job, you're looking good. I need you to finish strong though, and I know you have it in you. We're getting ready for our last time through the first superset. Hans is taking it to a squat jack. It looks like this. He's gonna sit it down, tap those feet together, come right back to shoulder width, and drop those hips low. Abia is staying with the body weight squat. You choose what you want. Let's go. Down. Find your pace. Find your rhythm. Own your form. And remember, there is nothing wrong with a little variation. If these squat jacks aren't for you, you can always go back to your squat with that hip rotation. 
If this is a little bit tougher than you need, you can rock and roll with Avia and I and stay with the body weight squat. The fact is, this is your workout. You own it and you become your best self. We're almost there. Come on, keep rocking. You got it too. For three, two, one, and recover. Shake it on out. Catch that breath a little bit. One more time through on our two seal jacks to our two A skips, lifting those knees high, keeping our pace sound, and I promise you, extended recovery on the other end. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, lift and lift. Sometimes I like to count out loud to myself. I like to do whatever I need to stay in the moment, to own the form, and to dig a little bit deeper. So if that's you right now, be my guest. It's okay, the neighbors will wake up at one point in time. All right, the dogs are gonna bark anyway, so you might as well just count out loud, move your body, keep that sweat pouring, and that smile on your face. We're almost there. Five more seconds to our extended recovery. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! First superset is done. Now, use this time and this moment to ask yourself, how am I feeling? What does that heart rate feel like? What about those muscles? Are they burning a little bit? Check in on your Fitbit. See exactly how your performance is tracking and celebrate that. You're doing an awesome job. All right, we're preparing now because in just about 30 seconds, we have our second superset. Now, take this time here to cool things down and to find that breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. One more time, deep inhale and exhale. Awesome work. Now grab a sip of water if you so choose, check in on that heart rate and certainly assess how your body is feeling. Is the body warm, the lower half really tingling right now? What about your heart rate? Through the roof? All right, calm it down. You feel good, you're looking great. Keep that up, but always be aware of where you're at. Now in about 20 seconds, we're taking things to our second superset. We'll be starting off with alternating reverse lunges. So find the edge of your space. We'll step back with our right leg, keeping our torso tall. We'll stand up tall, switching legs, driving through that front heel, bringing the back knee low to the ground. And remember, range of motion is yours. So find what feels best and rock and roll there. Here we go. Stepping on back, keeping that chest tall. And remember, there is no pace that you are forced to keep. If you need to slow it down right now to really make that mind-body connection, well, guess what? It's gonna serve you best in the long run. If you're feeling good and you wanna add a little bit more intensity, you can move a touch faster or you can join Hans and I as we go into lunge jacks. Tap in the middle and down switching legs. This requires a little bit more coordination, but give it a try if you so choose. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. That was the first exercise of the second superset, my friends, so you know we're coming back to it. Now, we're getting ready for our second movement, a little cardio. We have two skaters, followed by high knees across your space. Now remember, you can follow Avia for a modification. Here we go. One, two, high knees across your space. Again, one, two, high knees right back. Now we're still working for 40 seconds, resting for 20. And as you've already experienced, that gets that heart rate up in a quick, quick manner. Stay with it though, and slow it down whenever you need to so that you're able to accomplish this in grand style. And rest. Awesome job. Let's check in, see how you're doing. Check out your active zone minutes right now. Let's get back to work. We're going right back to our lunges. Remember, option for alternating reverse lunges, or you can start with the lunge jacks, just like Hans is about to do. Are you guys ready? Let's get this thing going. Three, two, one, here we go. Step it back, stand tall, bringing the back knee down. Now, Avi and I are keeping things with our base lunge. A-okay. And remember, you can always alternate between the variations we are showing today. Hans, well, he just wants to take it there. 
His Fitbit score is saying that he is strong, he is good to go, and he wants to test himself in a whole new way. Be my guest, my friends. There is no wrong way to get yours. We have less than 10 seconds. Maintain that strength, maintain that poise, maintain that breath for two, for one, and rest. Awesome job. How you feeling right now? It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be winded. It's okay to be sweaty. Just stay in the moment and appreciate your body for what it's doing. Let's go back to those skaters for two. High knees across our space. This time starting on our left side. Three, two, one. One skater, two skaters. High knees across, keeping control. One, two, high knees across, keeping control. Now at the end of the day, if you can perform your exercise with grace, with poise, no matter the speed, well guess what? You are showing control. And when you're in control of your body, the possibilities are limitless. So own your form, scale things back whenever appropriate, but also never be afraid to challenge yourself at the same time too. What I'm saying is, you have full reign to take this into your own hands. Rest. Woo! It ain't easy. It ain't easy. But stay in the moment and allow those feels to transform you. All right, we're going right back into our lunge variation. Hans has something special for you. He's going right into lunge jumps. Here we go. Down, down, down. I can't let Hans have all the fun. So I'm gonna test this out a little bit. But when I get tired, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scale things back into my lunge jacks, or maybe even join Abia with our variation in our base lunge. Hans will do the same as well. Why? Because we're human. And eventually you'll run out of energy. I can't expect you to maintain form and technique with perfection every time. So instead, you adjust, you modify, and you still get better regardless. Because guess what? You can always add it back in later. Three, two, and one, recover. Hey, way to push that. I'm at 155 beats per minute. Abia, what about you? I'm at 130. 130, nice work. Hans, how you feeling? Feeling good, 145. Let's keep working. Last time through, on our skaters to high knees, Third round, followed by extended recovery afterwards. Two skaters, high knees across. In three, two, one, let's go athlete. One, two, arms going, knees high. Again, one, two, show me that athleticism that I know you had. And this is the thing, you didn't have to ever lace on a pair of skates to do these skaters. You never had to win the Heisman in order to do these high knees but we're still moving athletically, aren't we? Because you are an athlete. Believe that with all your heart and certainly with all your body. Less than 10 seconds, Hans, how you feeling? Woo, feeling the burn. Oh yeah, Abia, how about you? I'm doing great. And you at home, how are you feeling? And rest. Woo, athlete, amazing job. Grab that water, rehydrate yourself. Certainly check in with that heart rate. And once you've had the chance, I wanna find us still feet shoulder width apart. Let's connect our body and our breath by inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Two more of those, deep inhale, big exhale, calming it down once more, breathe it in and let it go. The more you can control your breath, even when tensions are high, even when the situation is stressful, the more you're able to power through. And yes, we will power through our third and final superset. Are you ready? We're starting with lateral squats. Nice and wide with our stance. We set our hips down and back to our right side, stand tall. Down and back to our left side, stand tall. We're rocking in four, three, two, one, let's go. Keep your body weight back on your heels. Feel your weight shift into the glutes. Drive through that leg and power up to that neutral position. Now, if you're doing this properly, you're gonna feel a big stretch through the inner thigh of that straight leg. That's what you want. But at the same time too, we're never gonna force our situation. 
If you don't want to come down as low, that's all right. Still feel your body shift from one side to the other as we load up with all of our body weight and power through with the strength of that same side. Digging the heel into the ground, engaging that glute as much as possible is so key. And last one coming, and recover. Great job. And let's check out those active zone minutes. How you feeling? Great work. Our next movement, a caterpillars. We'll move to the edge of our space, feet shoulder width apart. We'll bend our knees, crawl out to a plank, own the plank, before crawling back with our hands, bending our knees and standing. And of course, Abia has got us with a modification down on your knees. We start in three, two, one, let's go. Bend, crawl out to a plank, pause in the plank, and now bend those knees, crawl back with your hands and stand and repeat. Bend those knees, crawl out to a strong plank and bend those knees, come right back to your stand. Now, if you watch Abia, she's staying down on her knees the entire time. She's still getting a great core exercise by pausing in that plank for as long as she needs. Now, Hans and I, we're adding a little bit more by coming all the way up to a standing position and then resetting right back down onto the ground with our hands under our shoulders and our legs fully extended. One more to finish and rest. Woo, amazing work here. And yes, we will add on in due time. We're back to our feet, back to our lateral movement, but this time we have alternating lateral lunges. We'll step out to our right, push the feet together, step out to our left, and push right back. And remember, you can stay with Abia with the base lateral squats. Here we go. Step it out, stand tall. Step it out, and stand tall. Now make sure that we're not stepping out too wide on this movement. That's gonna change your body's mechanics. And remember, it's so important to be of sound mind so that you're able to stay of sound body. What I mean by that is know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Paying attention to your form and technique. Always come back to that breath and modify whenever necessary. We have less than 10 seconds here as we train our body to move from side to side. Awesome job, athlete. Three, two, one, and recover. Hey, great job. Way to push through. We're back to our caterpillars. But this time, Hans is gonna show you another variation that includes the push-up. I'm gonna join him because who doesn't love a good push-up? Whenever you come out to that plank, hands underneath, lower yourself down. Here we go. Bending out those knees, crawling out to a plank, add that push, crawl back with those hands, bend those knees and stand. Now, Abia has a great modification here. It's the same as we did to start. And regardless of whether or not you're switching up your exercises or changing your modifications, it really doesn't matter. Because guess what? If you move your body, muscles contract. They relax. Calories are burned. Heart rate rises and drops. And of course, you improve that confidence and your ability to own that movement. So keep on going. Don't stop, don't quit. You're doing well for yourself. Recover. Woo. Woo! Nice work. We are so close to the end of our workout. One more time through the superset with a new variation. For those who want more of a challenge, lateral lunge, feet together jump. Lateral lunge opposite side, feet together jump. Three, two, one, step it out. This is your time, this is your moment to assess what works for you. If the jump, doesn't feel good on the ankles, the knees, and the hips, why would you do it? You can always come back to that lateral lunge and just take the jump out. You can pick and choose what feels good. You can pick and choose what serves you best. I challenge you to do that. Hans has that jump coming up nice and tall with it. Abia is taking out the impact and working on her form. At the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you. Rest. Nice job. Our final exercise is here, but something tells me that there may be some of you out there who want a little bit more. Well, this is your variation. Caterpillar into that push-up, then caterpillar back, add a small jump at the top before your next rep. Ready? Here we go. Curl it on out, strong push. Curl it on back, strong jump. Bend those knees right into your next push. Bend those knees. 
right into your next jump. And challenge yourself. Feel the chest, the shoulder, the triceps in that push-up. Feel those legs in that jump and the athleticism in your entire body as you do what's hard and challenging work. But something tells me that you can finish these last seven seconds, can't you? I know you can. I know you will. So give me three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Come on up. Congratulate yourself with a couple pats on the back, a big smile on your face, and some water to reward your efforts. Check in on that heart rate. How you guys doing here? Great. Looking good, feeling good? Hey, you did so great today. I'm so proud of you. Great effort. You challenged yourself through three supersets. You worked hard, the sweat fell, and look, a new, improved, better version of you. Awesome job today. Let's take this moment to connect to our breath yet again before we cool things out. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep inhale. Let that go. And once more in, once more out. One more time in, and one more time out. Nice job, let's cool it down. With your feet shoulder width apart, we roll the shoulders up and back, down and around. No rush here, this is the reward of all the hard work you just put in, so enjoy it. Opposite direction with the shoulder rolls, bring them forward this time. Again, no rush here. All of that hard work was done earlier so that you can slow it down and take your time now. And relax. When you're ready, join me, bringing that knee across the body, opening up that hip, finding your range of motion, and establishing your balance to lead us back into our day. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more on both sides and relax. Beautiful. With a wide stance, we bring our hands onto our hips. We lean to our left side, bringing that right arm across, feeling that stretch to the body. Bring it back center. Opposite arm comes across. We lean, we stretch, we find our range of motion without forcing it. One more time on both sides. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, bring it center. Inhale, exhale, and relax. Let's bring those feet side by side, and we establish the feet right next to each other, extending our right heel in front of us, bending that left knee, and sitting your hips back. From here, you should feel a great stretch through the hamstring as we lengthen the back side of our body. No need to touch the floor here, work with your range of motion. No need to touch your toe even. As long as your hips are back, you will feel all that goodness into the hamstrings. Avia, you feel that? I feel it. Hans, how about you? Yeah, feels good. Slowly come on up, shake the legs out. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Now extend your left heel right in front of you. Bend the right knee, sit those hips back and feel the stretch through the hamstring. And of course we breathe. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Come on up and shake it on off. And as you do, move to the back end of your space. We're gonna go into one of my favorite stretches, the spider lunge. Carefully come down to a plank, hands directly under your shoulders, legs extended. When you feel good here, step your left foot outside of your left pinky and allow those hips to fall. As we hold, we allow the hips to sink a touch farther, and then we rotate the left hand towards the sky. Deep breath in, let it go. Bring that hand back down to the ground and step that foot back to a plank. Now we work the opposite side. Right foot outside the right pinky. Rotate towards the sky. Let those hips sink and we breathe. Deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Awesome work. Hands come back down. Step back to plank and carefully come to a seated position. Now from here I want those legs to be as long as possible. Cross your left leg over your right with your foot flat on the ground. We're bending that left knee and bringing our elbow, the right side, across our body for our torso twist. 
Now stay tall here. Use that left hand behind you to plant into the ground to help you maintain that long spine. Maintain that breath. And relax, shake those legs out. Same thing on the opposite side. We cross the body. We bring the opposite elbow. We twist and sit tall, keeping that back flat, maintaining that length through the spine. Looks good, feels better. And relax. And to end, we bring the bottom of our feet together. Let those knees fall out to the side. Hands on your ankles and use those elbows to push down your inner thighs. Sit up tall with that back flat. Let your eyes gaze upward or feel free to close them and think about all the hard work you put in today. First, the hardest part, agreeing to show up for yourself. And then as we navigated through the warm up, we set our intention today. And then we attack those three supersets like it was nobody's business. Think about how proud you are of the effort you gave. Not quitting, adjusting, modifying as necessary, and of course, coming out victorious. Open those eyes, shake it on off, come up to your feet. Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hopefully you feel stronger and more empowered to ask yourself, what's strong with you? We wanna hear from you in the comments below. For more workouts, check out Fitbit Premium on the Fitbit app. You'll find hundreds of workouts, including some from Pop Sugar, as well as meditation and sleep tools. Keep it up, and we'll see you next time on Class Fit Sugar. <laughs>